of things going through your mind through your heart throughout the course of this day you weren't sure if you were going to get it all together tonight but uh, you did a heck of a job thank you very much Jamai. you know you know how i felt before the fight and thank what can you. i say thank i'm just so happy thank right you. now thank god <laughs> yes, what does the future hold for you now barrington um i would have you have to ask ray about that i, I you know ray's my um manager so he negotiates everything for me has it sunk in uh, not, it will. I'm just happy. I know that I won, so that's enough. But um, Commonwealth champion, it'll come. I thought the first four rounds were even. I felt that he won the middle rounds, but you really came on starting in the seventh and eighth round. You started to open it up. You seemed to get loose, and you really took the fight to him, especially over the last four rounds. Well, um, I, I, that was my strategy to start off slow and then gradually build, um, and that's what I did. What about the cut? How much of a factor was it in the fight? Uh, I, do I have a cut? I no, no, I mean the cut oh, to him. To him. Oh, I just, I'm bleeding and I just want to just get to it. Basically, that's all. Congratulations. Ray, come on in here. All right, champ. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Told you you could do it, champ. <laughs> that's it. Looked like he followed the game plan from right, right from the go-get. Very well. Well, Barrington's one of these diversified fighters, Jim. Uh, it was clear that the Punya was going to win a boxing match against us. So we had to get rough and tough, just like Barrington. He can fight either way. And Barrington, was, we were very fortunate that he, was, he responded to the, listen to the corner extremely well, and his natural ability took him right to the top. Would you agree that he, he started off well, then sort of tailed off in the oh, middle rounds and then picked it up again? No question about it. It was very, very close after four rounds. Barrington went, went a little to sleep in the middle rounds, no question about that. We had to get him pumped up. He got pumped up. and. Uh, when it was time for him to charge, just as we had planned, those last four rounds were ours. There was a good indication to me in the second round. You seemed to hit him with a straight right that stopped him in his tracks, and that gave me an indication that you could have put him away had you had the opportunity. It didn't present itself, but still, I thought that uh, you dominated throughout. Um, yes. He did not show me anything at all tonight to, to show that he could hurt you in any way. Did did he sting you at all? Um, he yeah he caught me with a few punches, but uh, nothing to you know rattle me or anything like that. No. Not to look too far forward, but uh, this is a day that you've been waiting for for oh, a long time, and it certainly does set up a great future for there's, the both of you. There's no feeling like being the manager of a Commonwealth champion, and there's no feeling I'm sure like being a, a, a boxer being a, a Commonwealth champion. It's absolutely wonderful, and uh, we look forward to being on TSN. June the 15th, you're going to watch the Canadian and Commonwealth champion be defending his title. We'll be making an announcement very shortly. Thanks very much. Terrific. Good show. Great job. Outstanding. Beautiful.